Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It is the 1st of July and it is time for our birthstone make along and the colours for July. Before we move into July, let's review a bit of June. So June, the birthstone was pearl and it means good health. I can't say that I had good health during June. I had back spasming, which I never get. Visit to the doctor, I ended up having a biopsy, um, which required stitches. I had my first COVID vaccine, the Pfizer, and I had a bit of a nasty reaction to that. But hey, I'm in good health now. All is good. So looking at the pictures in June on Facebook, in the Facebook Make Along group, Instagram, the ones that were emailed to me, by far, the most popular colour was cream. With that in mind, I went and bought some more Panda Magnum 8-ply 3-weight DK in cream. This will go nicely with the Panda 8 Magnum 8-ply green, which we put in the prize pack for May. I really want to try and give whoever the winner is a couple of balls of each brand or each type of yarn so they can make at least a decent project. Now these are quite large, 271 metres and 100% um, acrylic, the Australian Yarn Company. So that is the yarn that will go into our prize pack for June. Also June was another quarter done and dusted for our make-along and also six months into our make-along. So I thought I would do another surprise prize draw. So if you posted a picture during May, April, May, June, you went into the prize draw for that quarter and the six month mark. And you had to post one picture. I put everybody's name in a spreadsheet and then I used a random number picker to pick someone out. It's like a wheel thing. I took a photo of the number. The number that came out was number 14 and next to that was Hope Mahoney. Hope you have won yourself a $25 Amazon voucher um, for entering the make-along and keeping going six months. Some people have dropped off along the way and aren't posting pictures and some haven't posted for a while. But guys, I'm sure it'll pick up towards the end of the year when everyone's a little less busy. Hope, congratulations. All you have to do is email me and we will um, arrange for me to forward you a Amazon gift voucher to the value of $25. My email address will be in the description below. So, moving into July. Of course, July's birthstone is ruby. Hence, we're in red. I love rubies. But somewhere after about our 30th wedding anniversary and birthdays, Thing and I decided I did not need any more jewellery. I barely wear all the jewellery I've got. So I do not own any rubies. So hence, I'm not wearing any ruby jewellery. But yeah, there's only so much jewellery you can own and wear. So ruby means happiness and a contented mind. I hope we all work on being happy every day and I am certainly going to work on having a contented mind during July because I didn't during June. <laughs> the most famous rubies are, and I have to read this out, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. has some of the world's largest and finest ruby gemstones. The 23.1 carat Burmese ruby set in a platinum ring with diamonds was donated by businessman Peter Buck in memory of his late wife, Carmen Lucia. The stone was mined in, the re in a region of Burma in the 1930s. Number two famous di uh, ruby, the Liberty Bell ruby, the largest mine ruby in the world. It was stolen in a heist in 2011 and has not been heard of since. Let's hope that wasn't cut down. The Sunrise Ruby is the world's most expensive ruby. 
most expensive colored gemstone and most expensive gemstone other than a diamond. In May 2015, it sold at an auction in Switzerland to an anonymous buyer for 30 million US dollars. Wow, that's got to be one hell of a ruby. So the colors and facets of rubies are from like a cerise pink to a blood red. The value of a ruby is determined by its color. So if it's colors are closer to the pink end of the range, they're not as valuable as they are to the blood red end of the range. Um, which brings us to our colors of yarn for July. Of course, red, ruby red. I think everybody will like the ruby red. And cerise pink. Now under my lights, this looks like hot pink. But if you check out on a color chart what cerise pink is, that is the color. Also, if you have a variegated yarn of red and pink that fits into this color range, you can use that. I don't, and I am sticking to solid colors for my birthstone make-along blanket. I probably will use red because we've had a lot of pink. But yes, cerise pink to blood red. I don't have a darker red that isn't more like a garnet color. But I'm sure you get the gist of what you can use. And you know, I'm really flexible. As long as it looks close to pink or red, I accept it. So that's it, guys. That is our colours for July. Six months, seven months now, our birthstone make-along has been going. It's still really popular, but like I said, some people have dropped off along the way. But no doubt, as we get closer to the end of the year and that prize pack draw, they'll come back on board and show us the colours they have been doing. So until next time, make sure you stay safe, you take care, you stay well, you find happiness and a contented mind. Remember, life's an adventure and have one crafty day having a yarny adventure. Bye for now.